You're now tuned into Sykes Weekly Nerf Dosage. Hey, what's up, good people? Welcome to episode 125 of Pwn. Now, I know after you guys read the video title, you guys are wondering what in the world is this super fast, super easy brass breach. Now, all of us actually know about the brass breach already by now, especially if you're looking to modify a long shot. And the brass breach is probably or possibly one of the best breaches uh, ever created. And the first person that created it, of course, is none other than Forsaken Angel. And it was improved later on and imparted down to us via SG Nerf for those of us here in Singapore. And the only thing about the brass breach is that if you're new to modding, it could be quite a daunting task, you know, having the source up for brass, which is actually quite simple nowadays, and then measuring everything, understanding the whole long shot system, and then doing all the work, meaning cutting down the breach, you know, or dremeling out a half or a quarter pipe, you know, and gluing everything and centering in, stuff like that. So it can be quite a daunting task um, for a new modder, but all I have to say is now it's a super simple job. On top of that, it's an improvement to the brass breach. That is because Drizzle has came up with a new lipless breach design that, in fact, it's three new lipless breach designs and one of it incorporates a brass breach in it. So I'm going to show you guys these two long shots. And on the outside, they look like regular long shots, as you guys can see. Of course, this is the Elite Blue one. I told you guys I had a mod. Uh, support kit right that which is, which is this I want to introduce to you guys this zombie strike long shot actually houses Drizzle's new lipless slash universal breach design and what's special about this universal breach design is that it is a universal breach that accepts full length darts now this to me is an engineering marvel and it's very very interesting that's what I wanted to share with you guys you all already know about the universal breach and how it or at least prior to this accepts only Stefans and now it accepts full length darts as well. This over here is the lipless breach design but it houses a brass breach instead and it's a really 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 simple installation. Now I want to apologize before I show you guys more in-depth videos or footage I have of these two uh, lipless breaches because I actually filmed the installation and then I stupidly accidentally deleted all that footage away so I actually made a talk through uh, it's really great it's really simple and right now Drizzle actually has three versions of this first version is a standard universal breach lipless breach design second version is a full length accepting universal breach lipless breach design and the last version is a brass breach lipless breach design which is this one and it's amazing now, if you guys are wondering which um, is better a full length accepting universal breach or brass breach it's entirely up to you um, of course a brass breach would also mean slightly better air delivery but a universal breach uh, which accepts full length is just really amazing and it's a complete game changer now both of those actually all three of these actually requires you to have brass as a barrel as you guys can see these are all 916s brass this one over here on the inside on the on the breach part of it is a 17 30 seconds brass and you guys will understand in that video so i will cut the banter and share with you guys the first video which is the full length universal breach lipless breach design check it out here you go guys this is the internal shot of the whole setup I am uh, running a 916s brass where you're supposed to actually do that because you need 916s brass for this kit okay or this modification and I'm using orange uh, modworks metal trigger don't have the catch and the plunger system in place yet because I want to show you guys a demonstration okay uh, of course the one and only Robomans bolt snap now I'm gonna just lift this part up and show you guys the plunger assembly okay as you can see um, it's a universal breach Alright, you guys can see the o-ring there. I got a bit of e-tape underneath the o-ring, just a bit. I wanted to make it a bit um, thicker. So, lipless plunger tube conversion. So before you actually go ahead and do this mod prerequisite, number one, you gotta get the, the front lip off. And I think I did a pretty damn good job um, of getting the lip off in a very, very uni uniform manner. Okay. And uh, you have to also remove all the extra bits uh, like this slot over here, you know and do the installation of the o-ring and stuff let me just show you guys okay so this is what it looks like on the back uh, i would like to pull it out the front but i don't know if i should do that to show you guys okay okay here we go uh let's see if this works or is it gonna be a bit okay it's a bit too tight but yeah you guys get the idea 
it's an o-ring on the inside as you guys can see so um let me just ease this back into place and i'll get another one to show you guys what's happening okay this is another universal breach piece this one is uh for the stefan universal breach and this one is for the brass breach universal breach i mean the brass breach lipless plunger um tube conversion so yeah this one's for brass as you can see it's uh really white slot and this one is requiring an o-ring okay so uh on this part over here basically an o-ring goes on the back okay so that creates a seal very much like how uh, orange mod works and remedy metal had their uh plunger tube set up just that uh we don't have the lip over here anymore because this just helps and the reason why this came about is because you know uh in terms of brass breaches you kind of have to get the original um breach and then you cut off the nub and then you glue it onto your brass and then even if your bolts that super strong if you have a very very heavy spring load there's a chance that that connection between uh, the bolt sled with the plastic orange piece to the brass breach itself uh, might just break off so this idea came up uh, because of Drizzle and uh, he was thinking, hey, you know, I could just glue, I could remove the lip and I could glue another piece of, of brass on top and it would act like a, a support. So now instead of using that brass, he just completely 3D printed the entire extra piece. So this is the support piece. So uh, the weight is better distributed from here all the way to the lip of the front of the plunger. Yeah, so that's the whole idea. Yes, I've got a lot of uh, uh, lubricant on it because yeah, I like to go crazy on lubricant. So, anyway, yeah, um, this one's for the streamline length uh, universal breach, and I found it really, really interesting because I've never seen a streamline length universal breach before. And uh, you see all these, all these nice cut lines and everything. These all are, you know, supposed to work perfect. And I'll show you guys what I mean. The clip just goes around there, and it's, it's absolutely perfect. Now I have two screws uh, holding on. I mean, I have the screws holding on the muzzle piece. So, uh, sorry about that. I don't want to kind of remove it. But you guys can see. I'll give you guys a sneak peek. Just a moment. Here we go. You guys can see there's a little bit of uh, you know goop and uh, some green colored 3D printed stuff, and also on here. And this is actually the centering rings that help you to center the brass. So you need 916s brass whenever you're using a universal breach, but uh, this is about a 10 inch long uh, brass piece and I decided to use 10 inch instead of 12 because I didn't want too much out. I'm going to use a scar barrel on the end so that's why. And uh, yeah, these help you to center and keep everything nice and snug in place. You just have to goop it all down. And then you got to make sure that you get the measurements right. As you can see, the brass ends right here or starts right here. So this will not impede the dart feeding and at the same time, uh you know it stops right at the end so you have to do quite a bit of measuring but if you're used to a long shot system it's not going to cause you any problems so i'm going to give you guys a quick look on how uh, this thing closes up let me just lift it up and install back this breach in place i'm just trying to be a bit gentle i don't want to spoil anything on camera so yeah all right here we go we got it down got it locked in set in place make sure everything's perfect all right that's good so uh yeah so now you guys can see that uh right here i'm oh, sorry my my hands blocking the light but right here as you can see the end of the breech is flush against the brass itself right and i'm gonna just kind of like prime it so you guys can see so i'm gonna pull it back there you go so uh you can see the o-ring right there so it goes all the way back this far so kind of it's able to chamber a full length dart and then you close it so the o-ring will create a perfect seal with that brass over there and make sure that you flare that piece out a little bit very slightly so that it won't cut into the o-ring over here all right so when you close this up it will close like this i'm sorry guys yeah okay it will close up so i'm having some alignment issues because i'm holding everything upside down so this feels really strange but uh it clicked there we go there we go my bad guys i'm usually able to do it much better because i'm okay here we go so yeah uh it will just chamber right into the brass like that as you guys can see so that's how the whole thing works i'm gonna just get a couple of darts and um you know have it in a clip to try and show you guys what's going on so i have with me a clear clip so that hopefully it will illustrate everything better for you guys one nipple dart and one standard streamlined dart so uh I want to show you guys the strength of this print so i'm gonna just have to hammer this in right so uh click neck lets it go up 
all the way to here i'm gonna hold this down and that's how it is so you guys can see that 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 little bit of uh yeah 3d printed material that ridge over there is perfectly lined with the lip of the clip over here so you guys can see it's, it's really really good now prime this guy and you'll see that the dart will oh sorry you'll see that the dart will chamber up perfectly look check it out see that okay so now dart gets fed in to the breech all right so first dart's chambered I'm just gonna do a second one for you guys, okay? So here we go, second one. I know this is double feeding, but yeah, okay. So there we go. Sorry, it's it's my problem because I'm holding the mag this way instead of upright. But yeah, you get the idea. So chamber perfectly as well. Uh, and uh, remove this clip, please. There we go. And this is basically how the whole streamlined version of the Universal Breach lipless uh, plunger tube mod works i know it's a really long name i don't know if they want to call it anything but it was originally just called the lipless mod so lipless mod with a streamlined length universal breach and i found that really really interesting and that's what i wanted to share with you guys yes it's not the best out of the three it's not a stefan universal breach it's not a brass breach but this to me is a real engineering marvel a huge advancement in the game of nerf and I thought that I would share it with you guys because finally someone's able to make a universal breach with complete seal okay a really really good complete seal breach that accepts streamlines so you know that if it accepts streamlines it will accept Stefan's as well all right I'm gonna close this baby up now and uh, I'll catch you guys later bye welcome back and I hope that you guys could understand that it's actually a very very simple straightforward installation and uh, it's just amazing. I really love the fact that it's a lipless breech design. Number one, you get better seal. Number two, because Drizzle actually improved on it, now it's got that extra support on the top, which is right here. So you don't really have to worry about your nub actually breaking off. And because of that, he went ahead and he made one for the brass breech. And I gotta tell you guys, this is amazing. So check it out. What we have right here is the brass breech lipless breech mod okay and basically this lipless breach you guys already know it's a very simple installation but i like it because it's a full brass breach and this is amazing because it really makes the installation or creation of a brass breach for a long shot super 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 simple now installation is very very simple all you gotta do is just dremel out this part of your plunger tube and then you're gonna insert a stub of brass over here on, into this part and this takes 17 30 seconds brass and i made a quarter pipe top so that i'll prevent the darts from going up too far when i'm feeding it in and you night uh sorry 916 you need to get some 916 brass and you're gonna insert it into the front over here of the original dart gate all right so it's really really simple this is just some epoxy and uh, yeah, I'll share with you my personal touches later. Okay, you can see some e-tape on the inside and the whole brass is coming out. So yeah. Now, uh, just gonna fit this one in first so I can explain to you guys why it's needed uh, due to the the um, bad feeding for a clip. So let me just uh, make sure everything sits nicely first of all. All right, now it being a brass breech, it also means that you get super perfect seal at the bottom. Here we go on this end, 17, 30 seconds, and this end, 9, 16, here you go. As you can see, sleeves in perfectly. One more time at the bottom so that you guys can see. Brass breech closes perfectly so it creates a perfect seal over here. Now I'm gonna put a clip in and explain to you guys what's happening with the top. Okay, the reason why I have to have that quarter pipe. Okay, there we go. All right, so whenever you pull your bolt sled back, it's gonna push a dart up. And you gotta just basically measure and make sure that dart doesn't protrude this part. Because if you don't have this uh, quarter pipe on top, Sometimes this nub, even though it's present, it's not enough to actually keep the dart in. So it's very difficult for you to feed the dart through and feed it inside here. And you will run the risk of chewing your dart. Very simple logic, right? So this is just perfect, as you guys can see. Really, really smooth, no problems whatsoever. Now, when you're installing this, all you gotta do is just take measurement from this part over here, as you guys can see. Just make sure that it has a little bit of a gap right at the end here. Okay, try to look in between the bolt slat, the plunger tube, and the mag itself. And you can see that's where the breech actually stops. Okay, the I mean the brass actually stops. 
So it's really, really simple. Just put in a clip and measure from there. Then you got to cut your brass down, uh, you know, um, there we go. Just cut your brass down and have a quarter pipe that's about one and a half inches long. It's longer than a standard Stefan, so about one and a half inches or maybe two inches if you want. And then basically that's it. Right, so personal touches that I did to this was I don't like the fit of 916 brass uh, when it comes to firing darts. I like the fit of 17 30 seconds brass. So what I did was this whole length over here from here to here is a stub of 916 brass where this will actually sit in. Now right from the end of where this guy starts or this guy ends basically is another 17 30 seconds brass that runs all the way through until the front. And I centered everything by using E-tape on the inside of the original Nerf barrel. So it keeps everything centered. And I actually took less than an hour to do the entire thing, uh, including the sanding and, you know, deburring of the ends of the brass on every single part. The only thing I needed after that was to wait for my epoxy or my group to cure. And that's basically it. It's really, really simple. So just cut this lip off, ins insert the brass, glue it in, insert another piece of brass over here, measure everything up, cut it good to go simplest brass breach ever and i really really take my hat off to drizzle and zinf amazing stuff really and also uh some credits to go to newbie because newbie was the one who gave the idea to drizzle if i'm not wrong correct me if i'm wrong but that is what i have gathered so far yeah so amazing stuff really i really want to share this with you guys really really great brass breach and you guys know brass breach means very very good air delivery Catch you guys in the main part of the video. Bye! Pretty stoked, right? It took me less than an hour to actually install the whole thing. Of course, you have to factor in stuff like waiting for your glue or your goop or your epoxy to cure. But all in all, the installation took about an hour, which is way, way, way less than what you would normally uh, need to actually perform a traditional, original style brass breach. That is really, really amazing. So I'm going to give you guys a quick firing demonstration and also show you guys the loading process or the feeding of the darts. So here we go. I'm going to fire off six darts with this full length accepting universal breach just to prove to you guys that it accepts full length darts. Now you guys already know these are the V3 version of the nipple darts. I think it's a V3. If not, some people call this the Lily Arms darts. But here we go. It's in a PMAC and I've got 12 darts inside here but I'll only be firing off six. Alright, so as you can see, it fits very nicely without any problems. Now, priming, and you guys can already see, first dart is right up there. I'm gonna chamber it with no problems and fire it off. Okay, I'm gonna show you the second one. Here we go. Very, very nice. As you can see, all six darts out without a single jam. That is amazing. Okay, now it comes right out, no problems with the feeding or catching or anything whatsoever. Very, very, very good breach that actually fires off full length darts. Now you guys know backwards compatibility, if it fires full length darts, it will fire Stefan length darts. So no worries about that. Moving on to this guy over here, which is the brass breech version of the lipless breech design. And this guy actually holds a slightly stronger spring. Uh, so pardon me if I'm not priming it very well because you guys already know my arm is not in tip-top condition. I'm on the road to recovery, but I'll get to that in a while. So uh, here we go. And uh, because of this jam door over here, I can't really just slide it back to show you guys, but I will show you guys the chambering process, okay? So here we go. Prime it back all the way. You guys can see the dart is up there. No problem whatsoever. Gonna chamber it. Absolutely fine. Here we go. Whoa, packs a punch. Next one. Okay, here we go. Try and make this a bit slow for you guys. Hopefully you got that. Last dart. Absolutely no gems whatsoever, especially in, uh, especially the fact that it is a brass breech. So you guys know if your brass breech is not aligned correctly, you will experience gems. But because it's such a simple, simple, simple execution, you know, you can also take slight precautions where you can choose to flare out this uh, barrel end of the brass instead. So flare it out a little bit just to help with the feeding and the fact that it actually has that uh, extra dart uh, stopper on top or the quarter pipe, it's going to help you with the feeding in process with absolutely no problems whatsoever. My verdict all in all, all this lipless breech designs by Drizzle, absolutely amazing. 
I tip my hat to you, Drizzle. Very, very good. Uh, Zin was also the one that printed them out for me. So thank you so much, Zin, for actually printing out for me. In fact, he printed all three versions for me. I haven't installed the Stefan length one, which is right here. And it's glow in the dark, by the way, so it's pretty cool. Uh, that's because I don't have enough long shots. You guys know I'm actually keeping one long shot for something else that will be coming up in the a, in a next episode or something like that. Coming up really, really soon. But... Uh, definitely, in my opinion, my favorite is the Brass Breach version because of the air delivery and the fact that now I, f I don't have that fear of the nub breaking off the top which is the most common problem that people will face when you actually perform a Brass Breach uh, mod on your long shot. So this really to me is really really amazing and um, my second favorite of course is the full length um, accepting universal breach because to me that is like it's the next best thing you can have to a brass breach if you guys you know don't have access to 17 30 seconds brass in singapore 17 30 seconds brass seems to always run out of stock in stores 916 seems to be a bit more common and a bit more accessible so um you know using the o-ring and if you just you know adjust it a little bit you're gonna get a perfect seal and it's just amazing because originally you know we never thought that hey you know um a universal breach would be only able to accept Stefans. It's kind of like doing the old um, so dizzle breach, you know. So it's it's almost like trying to make a so dizzle breach accept full length darts, or trying to make a lazy breach accept full length darts. You know, it seals gonna be a bit of a problem, but that this is just amazing. So really, really cool. And also not to forget Nubi because if I'm not wrong, Nubi is the one that actually dreamt out the idea and shared it with the rest of them. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't want to give wrong credits where it's not due or give credits uh, or not give credits where it's actually due. That's what I wanted to say. All right, so I guess let's just move on to the end of the video. Here we are. Thank you once again so much for sticking all the way throughout guys. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope that you guys found this video interesting. I definitely did. When I received these, I was like, what in the world? I have to try them out. And when I finally installed it and it works so beautifully, I just had to share it with you guys. This is, I, I'm really proud to say this is a, a Singaporean product. Like, it's just the genius of a few people's minds put together. It's just amazing. And installation is so simple, I, I don't even know. It's just a really, really, in my opinion, a big game changer. So it's not, not only is it affordable, you know, it's sturdy because, you know, nowadays 3D printed stuff is definitely getting better and better in quality and in terms of structural integrity. And also, it's just really, really easy to install. So you get stellar performance out of it, just spend, you know, a little bit of time just adjusting things and making things fit and it's just mind-blowing i just really really like it and i cannot recommend it any more than than this it's just really really cool that brings me towards the end of the video uh i'm i'm feeling a lot better now guys thank you so much for all the well wishes you guys already know i had to do the masada kit last week um but Right now, uh, my arm strength is coming back. I won't say that it's 100%, but I have heard quite a lot of like scare stories about, you know, like sports injuries and all that. If left untreated, it might seem like it's nothing right now. So I guess I'll go have to check up, uh, go get it checked up. I'll probably go visit a physiotherapist sometime during this coming week and uh, find out if there's anything I can do of is if there is any hidden or major damage. On the same subject, I actually already released a video that I made well just to share with you guys I started a new uh, a new channel and it's just a uh, it's an on-off channel so there's no commitment to that it's just I upload videos whenever I feel like it. it's more like a lifestyle kind of vlog video very 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 inspired by Casey Neistat I'm sure you guys already know who Casey Neistat is that guy's amazing he's a huge inspiration and he inspires me to follow my dreams and follow my passion and I decided to just take snippets of my life in a storytelling kind of way and share it online. And the channel name is called The Average Singaporean. But I'll link straight to that whiplash video right here where I actually crashed on my longboard and you guys can watch. And I'm pretty sure that you guys will feel bad for me but if you really look at it, it looks kind of stupid. So please laugh. I hope that you guys just, you know, uh, take it with a pinch of salt and laugh. Yes, it hurt. The repercussions were not that funny but i laughed at myself as well so what the hell right 
All right, guys, I guess I've rented and I've bented on enough and I've spoken enough in this video. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. If you guys like this video, I hope you guys give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope that you guys consider subscribing where I make Nerf videos every week. So till the next episode, everyone, Jules pay the bills and teamwork makes the dream work. Peace.